Hello, my name is Mike Busey. I'm Sales and Marketing Director of Comor Oil and Chemicals. We're here today at Bedford Autodrome having a look at the Palmer Sport operation owned by the ex-Formula One driver Jonathan Palmer, looking in particular at the Formula Two series which Comor Oil and Chemicals has been a technical partner to for the past three years. We're going to have a closer look at the Formula Two car, how the maintenance is done and how they're run, in addition to that, we're also going to have a look at some of the other Palmer Sport vehicles here in the workshop. Formula 2 has been running for three years now, an FIA approved international series with 26 cars on the grid. Comma Oil, as technical partner, is providing all the engine oils, gear and transmission, brake fluids and maintenance products for all of those vehicles. What we're going to do now is talk to one of the engineers who will actually take us through what the maintenance schedule is for running these vehicles throughout the series. I'm James Goodfield, Chief Engineer with the FIA Formula 2 Championship and behind me is a JPH1V Formula 2 car. The car is purpose designed by Williams Formula 1 for this championship and it has within it here a 1.8 litre Audi turbocharged engine which is tuned to create 425 horsepower on normal boost and 500 horsepower for six seconds when the driver presses the overboost button. Behind the engine is a six-speed sequential gearbox produced by Hewland. Regarding service and maintenance schedule, with testing and racing, each car will complete roughly six and a half thousand kilometers per season. The engine is expected to last an entire season between rebuilds. It will get an oil change at roughly one-third season distance. The coolant will be changed more frequently, perhaps as much as once every race meeting, but mainly as a result of other work being conducted to the car. The gearbox will be inspected every evening on a race meeting and will have a thorough inspection and rebuild at one third season distance. The brakes will be bled every evening and each car will get through two sets of tyres and two sets of pads per race meeting. OK, well, let's have a look at something a little bit more familiar here. This is the Renault Clio Sport. This is one of 60 vehicles within the Palmer Sport corporate hospitality fleet. This fleet does over 2 million miles a year, being thrashed around the race circuit here at Bedford. So let's have a, a chat now with the Clio fleet technician who can tell us a little bit more about the service regime that these vehicles have. I'm David Eaton, I'm a technician on the Renault Clio Sport fleet. This is a Renault Clio Sport 200, it's a 2 litre 16 valve engine producing 200 brake horsepower. We don't calculate the cars running in terms of mileage, but in hours, this car will do 250 hours in a year of track time. In terms of service and maintenance, it's pretty straightforward. Engine oil is changed twice a year, transmission oil is changed three times a year, and other consumables across the fleet will get through 350 tyres, 65 sets of front pads, and 16 sets of discs. OK, well let's have a quick look at a couple of other vehicles here at uh, Palmer Sports Workshop. This one here is the famous Caterham 7. Uh, the engine in these at Palmer Sport is the Ford Duratorp engine, a 1.8 litre, with producing about 150 brake horsepower in a car that weighs in total less than 600 kilograms, so quite an enjoyable ride. OK, this is a, a very interesting example. They have a fleet of 18 JPLMs. These vehicles were designed and built here at the Bedford Workshop, specifically for the racetrack here. Running with a Jaguar V6 3-litre engine, this is producing 230 brake horsepower which gives it on the track here uh, a top speed of 160 miles an hour. So that concludes our visit here to the Jonathan Palmer Motorsport Workshop. Thank you for your time and we hope to see you soon.